What it do, y'all? We back. I know it's been a while. Said I gotta give y'all another video. First giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, who woke me up this morning. Bonus DAs and all that good stuff there. So today, I switched the game up a little bit. Got a little surprise for y'all. Show y'all a day in the life with your boy Charles Holmes. All right, let's get it. I've been learning a lot, picking up on a lot more stuff. Um, yeah, man, it's game out here. Just gotta get into it. Let's do it. All right, so a little surprise for you guys. I stepped it up a little bit. It bought me a two car hauler slim. Yes, sir. So look, um, the one car hauler was cool. It was definitely cool, but the um, this two car hauler make a lot more sense, obviously. Um, uh more cars more money obviously um yeah and it's, it's making a lot more sense especially when trying to stay local that would be my thing if you guys are going to stay local and you really want to let me before i say that let me say this you could do the one car hauler thing but it's all about your bills and your overhead so take that into consideration but staying local if you really want to run it up, staying local, you need more than a one car hauler to like really run it up. But I mean, to each his own, man. Like I said, I put a winch on this thing yesterday. I didn't even think it was gonna power up. Yep, I put a winch on that thing. I didn't think it was gonna power up yesterday. That thing power right up. Bad land. It's the, uh, it's the like, $300 jump, $350 bag, man. Yeah, I put it on there, powered it up. Put my battery in here. And my, uh, look, I put my box in there because I got the remote. And I got the wireless, wireless joint jump. But yeah, show y'all how this thing worked today. Y'all a little bit of insight of what's going on. So we can do inoperable cars now and they pay more. And another thing too, on my first video, I told y'all, if you don't have your Twit car, stay away from that port. And my plan was to not even go back to that port again. But the cars going to the port actually pay a little bit more. So I've been figuring that out as well. So I've been taking cars to the port. I did that all last week and I made sure So this is actually the next day. It's raining today, y'all. As you can see, the sun is not shining as it was, but it's still a beautiful day. So I got two on here, one bashed up. And the other, just the other. But yeah, I'm dropping these two cars all the day, y'all. Let's get it. So it's a little drizzle going on out here. But like I said, I'm on my way to the port. And I am, um, I picked up one car on the way to the port. Ain't no rush right now, cause the port on lunch. That's the only thing I don't like about dropping cars off to the port is that they go on lunch and they be so serious about their lunch at the port. I think people be serious about their lunch anyway. Oh well, but um, I can't record at the port. Not supposed to have your phone. I'ma try to sneak a video in though. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak a video on. I'll see y'all in a little bit.
Alright, so this is day four. And I came to the conclusion that this video is gonna be named A Week in the Life. Right? Not at the end, at the end of life. Yeah, a week in the life. Uh hat shop car hauling. Beginner status. Yeah, so I'm about two and a half months in now. And I'm learning a lot. I met a guy at the Baltimore Port. Good man, Mark. Uh, shout out DJS Trucking. That's the name of his company. Good dude, man. Shared a lot of information with me, which is hard to come by. Good information is hard to come by. But as you keep moving, keep progressing, you know, being consistent and persistent, uh, God will make the connections. You know what I'm saying? So keep pushing. Keep pushing. Let's get it. So I know this video kind of all over the place, but I'm um, still content. But um, this is actually the day three of this video, too. So just want to make sure I ain't forgetting that I parked my truck. Down the street from the house. So I got these two cars on here today, but these are the last cars I was dealing with. Today was supposed to be a short day, half a day, but I don't know what a half a day is to me in this field. I really don't know how to do a half a day. I got to get all that under control. Scheduling. Oh, this camera crazy. I'm trying to show you guys something, but either way, it don't matter. But um, I got stuck with these two. I missed my, a lot of these cars, some of these cars, not a lot of them. Had to drop them off by a certain time. Can't just leave them there. They have to have a delivery time. And these two are that. I missed my time, but it's all good. I can drop my first thing in the morning. And I can start boogieing in the morning. You understand? So yeah, that's just what we got with it, man. Just a day in the life, three days in the life, because this is the third day. But however, um, I got this two car hauler and it makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ask some questions, put them in the comments. Let's get, it. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Tip, here's a tip, pro tip. Clean your trailer. I hauled a inoperable car that was leaking transmission fluid and guess what i got transmission fluid all over my whip all over my trailer whip let's get it